Welcome to Yokomo, an ETS online course on a competence-based development for youth workers. Hi, I'm Sergio. I'm a trainer and I'm a youth worker. I'm very happy to be here to present uh, uh, my Molecula, that is uh, an activity, a tool uh, about the uh, ETS competence model for youth worker working internationally. In, uh, in Yokomo, in Roma, during the first uh, uh, pilot edition of Yokomo, was, uh, I had a crush for, uh, for the ETS competence model uh, because it, it opens uh, really a world for me. Uh, because I had like the full picture of what what are the competence uh, uh, involved in uh, in my in my daily job, and so I had like also the possibility to to design new uh, new steps forward. So the main idea uh, behind uh, uh, behind molecular was like to to put in practice uh, dimension change because like uh, our I'm fascinated by metaphors so i worked with uh, i worked with like two dimension in uh, in yokomo and then i i discovered like the the simple complexity of uh, the ets competence model but um, then i reflected maybe i can like translate uh, this two dimensional model into a three dimensional model me in order me to understand better in order also to to participants uh, of like trainings and so on uh, to understand better the the structure of the model so basically i uh, i i try to deconstruct the the, the various competent components uh, of the model uh, into into bricks but then like uh, i reflected i was inspired by the the ets strategy logo that is basically uh, shaped like bubble connected uh, with uh, with links, and uh, I thought about like a molecular, like uh, a living, uh, a living thing. So so I started like to deconstruct the the, um, the model, and I arrived to to these uh, to this uh, to this shape. Uh, basically, I use polystyrene balls and wooden sticks to shape to show the different components, and wooden sticks are obviously to link different different components. How how does it work? Uh, we have like uh, normally we have three hours session. Uh, because you need enough time to reflect about uh, competence. Uh, there is a warming up activity. Uh, basically, the warm this is a warming up activity. It's like uh, an activity that's, that allows participants to uh, reflect about their, uh, their daily uh, job and their daily activities and like to gather activity and uh, together and uh, uh, to find a common ground of the uh, activity as youth worker uh, then after these uh, these warming up uh, we go directly to the uh, the competence area most uh, most used most uh, frequently used by uh, the youth workers uh, uh, involved in the training and we ask the, the the participant to build a model using using a, a fixed number of polystyrene balls, for example, for uh, the facilitating individual and group learning in an enriching environment. Uh, there are thirty six components, so thirty six uh, uh, balls and a number a number of sticks. We divide. We normally divide the, the groups in two or three in order they will have like a sharing, and they can confront themselves much more easily. Why the activity is so so nice? Because uh, I really can can see during the activity the the richness of the different opinions between the participants, uh, the the richness of the possible possible connection between. Uh, different elements and possible interpretation of different elements and components in, inside the, uh, the competence. And, um, and it really helped the, the, the group on understanding uh, the structure of a competence and, uh, and they really in 
they really practice the, for, for example, the competence, they really practice themselves during the exercise. What is really charming, inspiring uh, after, after, uh, after having finished uh, the, the activity is that you have like three groups of, uh, of people participating, you will have three completely different uh, shape of your molecular, like, uh, like uh, snowflakes. Um, this is like a really, really inspiring for me because like uh, yeah, it says that there is no one solution uh, the, the solution of the group. ETS Compass Model is a wonderful playground. So my suggestion is like just to, to go in and play with it, play with the competence, uh, play uh, with your professionality and discover. We hope this video contributed to you learning about the competence-based development for youth workers.